Okay, this is a training video for how to change your base station or how to change your rover antenna from a receive mode on the radio to a transmit mode for the base. So power on your Topcon antenna. It doesn't matter if it's a GR3 or if it's a Hyper GA. Once it's powered on, go to your Pocket 3D. I've already changed this GR3 antenna over to a Rover configuration for the radio. Um, so right now we're going to go to setup, just like we're just like we're going to launch our base station. So we go setup base station. Make sure you select your correct control point. Confirm that you're on the Bluetooth connection. Click next. Uh, confirm the antenna type and antenna height and where you're measuring to. And then click next. And this is where we're going to click configure. So look at these settings, make sure they're correct. And I'm going to hit configure. Now at this point you can click find. And it will search for any Bluetooth device. We're trying to find this Bluetooth connection. Okay. And it found the base station, which I know is that antenna. So I'm going to go ahead and hit select. We just wait for it to go through the setup. And all it is is establishing, all it's doing is establishing a Bluetooth connection from our Pocket 3D data collector to the GPS antenna. And we can see that it's established a Bluetooth connection because the Bluetooth light is lit and solid. Still thinking about it. Okay, uh, make sure to uh, take note of which channel it's on. Okay, we can see that we have PDL Rover selected already, which if you already had your antenna in use as a Rover, it should say PDL Rover if you're using a digital UHF radio. Uh, take note of these other settings in here too. So for this case, we're just gonna switch over to PDL Base. And all we're doing by changing it to PDL base is putting it in transmit mode. So it will only transmit a location. Again, make sure it's PDL base. These other settings should stay the same. Uh, your power should just be set to the highest available. And then hit set. It's saving the settings to the radio via the Bluetooth connection takes us back to this screen and then we're just going to hit next and use your standard uh, settings that you always use hit finish and now to continue setting up your base station um, after configuring the radio you would just select base and then do select so now it's just going to launch the antenna as the base station over the control point that you selected. And in this case we're inside and we're not really over control point so I'm not going to let it finish although it looks like it's going to anyway. But you should have a successfully launched base station after this. And that's it.